What's going on YouTube? Ya boy, not too clutch, and I'm making a uh, quick little video. If you guys follow me on Twitter, I said that I would um, do a story about my tattoo experience and tell you guys the story about it. Um, it's very fucking interesting, I can tell you that. So, yeah, sorry I haven't made videos lately. I've been busy, and uh, so here it is. And the gameplay is Destiny, low ass level Destiny. Um, if you guys like Destiny, I'll make more videos, but for now, this is uh, this is the video. So anyways, um, I walk into this hotel room, and never met these dudes before, anything like that. Uh, there's like four dudes in there, so I walk up in there, there's a fucking needle on the goddamn, on the bed. Not used, though. And I'm guessing fucking heroin or something else and uh, so right from the beginning I realized these dudes are a bunch of fucking druggies so I'm cool with it whatever you know fuck it still I'm gonna do it so he starts talking about how he was banging this chick and this chick's husband found out about him about him or whatever and they're about to fight and then it turns out that they both want to get back at the bitch and become good friends and then the husband of the chick rents this dude the hotel room and then they're trying to now get back at the chick that one of the dude is one of the dudes is married to and the other one has been fucking for the past year so the bitch calls up the the boyfriend not the husband but the boyfriend and it's like you know I'm gonna fucking get all of your shit out of storage, blah, 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 I'm gonna fuck you over. So this dude goes and gets all of his shit out before she can and throws her shit all over the storage room, I guess, and then moves all of his shit. So then she calls back and starts talking a bunch of shit to him, saying how she's gonna get all of her boys to kill him and his brother and all this shit. So I'm sitting here, my little white self, with all these crazy ass motherfuckers talking about I'm just sitting here listening just like oh shit I'm probably about to die but these fuckers are going on for forever and then it starts you know this dude's phone by the way is going off non fucking stop because this bitch is insane and she knows that the husband's there so she's texting and calling both of them saying I'm the best you'll ever have all this shit like that so I'm just sitting here like fuck Okay, I'm either gonna get shot or I'm about to get fucking arrested because the cops are about to raid this fucking hotel and shit. So, everything starts calming down. You know, I start getting the tattoo and all that shit. And then the husband and boyfriend are going back and forth talking about who fucked the bitch better. It's like, oh yeah, I got my whole fist in that bitch. Oh yeah, well, she couldn't even make me come. And they're just like talking shit back and forth to each other about who can fuck the bitch better and who was better so I'm just like oh fuck I'm in a terrible position I'm about to die and this is what I'm thinking the whole entire time like fuck but you know what whatever so I'm like halfway through the tattoo blah 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 and I got my last name tattooed on my forearm which I'm probably gonna go get a cover up done um it's, it's not the best looking thing but so he starts talking about his brother, and he's like, yeah, you know, blah, blah, blah's coming, and, you know, he's crazy. Like, he'll walk up to you, get in your face, and just start looking at you. He's, like, really crazy, so, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, another crazy fucking asshole to come to this goddamn place. Awesome. So, this fucking dude, like, five foot three, walks in, fucking whole face, head, everything is all tatted up. And this fool's got like a ankle monitor on, I think you would call it, because he's on like parole or some shit like that. And he's talking about how he has to go do a drug test tomorrow. And within, not even fucking joking, two minutes, this fool pulls out a fucking crack pipe and starts fucking cutting up a goddamn rock to go and smoke. I'm just like, what the fuck am I getting myself into? And then. This dude's fucking tripping balls because he can't get a goddamn lighter to work, so he walks down to the store to get a goddamn lighter. 
He comes back and starts tripping balls because he can't remember where he put his fucking crack at. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? Why am I in this position? So, long story short, if you're going to get a tattoo, I mean, I only paid $30 for mine, but uh, like I said, it's not the best looking tattoo in the world. So, don't fucking do what I did. <laughs> if you're going to get a tattoo, go to a legit place where... You don't have to worry about crackhead. I mean, I know most tattoo artists are all fucking druggies anyways, but you know, go to a legit place where you ain't gotta worry about all the bullshit and that they probably actually will do a good job and actually, you know, do what you pay for. But that's what it comes down to, you get what you pay for and I will be trying to see how much a cover up is and get it covered up because uh, it's not bad, but it's just not what I want. I should have uh, had him do a fucking butterfly on my ass cheek or something. But, yeah, that's my story. Very interesting, I know. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, this is Low Ass Destiny. You know, that's like the first day I got the game. Um, I'm now fucking 28 and could pretty much run through everything, separate, because uh, it's just hard. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and uh, I will try to make some more videos soon, but who knows, who knows, who knows. Alright y'all, I'm out. Peace.